All right, guys, we're playing Camille top lane today. We're playing Camille top lane this time versus a Garen. And for the runes, we now have Grasp, Shield Bash, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, Hibiscus Delivery, and then also the Cosmic Inside. Now, today we're playing the new S tier champion. We're playing Camille. And uh, just to point out, there's so many people playing Camille right now. This champion has, been, has received so many buffs within one patch. Like, uh, I think about a week ago right now, like more, almost a week ago, or even a bit more than a week ago, actually. Either way, Camille is really nice. I definitely recommend it. So, Camille against Garen is actually a very good matchup. It really does come down who wins level 1, though. In general, like, Garen can push the lane level, uh, a lot faster level 1, so he'll probably take the advantage. If we can somehow get level 3 first, we will uh, we will beat him very easily. The way how trading is going to work in this matchup is heavily through spam and Q and W. And whenever we have the chance to use the terrain for E, uh, we can easily win the 1v1 as well. The E is very nice because if you proc that on him, uh, you'll lock him for a little bit with CC. And the bonuses also help. It's gonna go for the cannon. All right, let's respect him. Yeah, that's one of the problems when you're playing to a Garen. Garen can push lane extremely easy into you. He has a lot more wave clear through one ability than you do. Oh, I'll take that. And he's dead. Wait. Oh. What? Wow, I don't know how lucky one person could be there, honestly. I played that very smoothly. Of course, it could, it could have been done better if I auto queued instead. But I thought that two Qs in a row would be enough, certainly. But no, it's not. The man's running D shield, that's why. At least it's not entirely too bad. We took the 1v1 against Garen and. Uh, we basically trade one for another. However, top lane was pushing my direction. So even though we did actually kill Garen and also died for it, uh, Garen lost the entire wave and I'm actually able to collect it right now. So it's not going to fully... Um, it's actually going to be in my favor. It's actually going to impact me far more than it does for uh, it does for Garen. So it doesn't really matter. We're going to start maxing Q. Maxing Q is the best thing you can do. I'm going to put the lane into a slow push. Rock that passive. Kai backwards. Kiting backwards again is the best thing you can do, guys, in a lot of situations. Uh, wait, I will get the other guy. I will catch him. Yep. And this guy's gonna go down too. I got my E in like five seconds, so he's got a problem here. Um, oh, he will live, unfortunately. I'm going to ask my jungler if he can help me. Because Camille does not have a lot of wave clear in early game. You definitely need to um, ping around your jungler from time to time. If, you know, for whatever you want, right? If you're playing a champion like Garen, you don't necessarily need to ask your jungler often. Because your E does everything. But with Camille, you don't have a lot of wave clear at the early game. You will get that later in the game, as you're actually going with team at most of the time, right? So be aware about that when you play Camille, you need to uh, like actively ping your jungler around from time to time. Let's make it back. It's actually a cannon wave, so we're not losing as much. Cannon wave is usually a good way to backport because cannon waves do not go down as quickly. And we already made it back. Not losing as much. The cannon is still staying there. Progress is served by technology. I'm trying to proc the pass if he goes in. Just proc in third Q. Also, I want to note this out there for everyone. Uh, Camille is not just an early game champion. Um, Camille is actually fantastic in the mid game. The mid game is the best thing about Camille. So... 
do not expect like Darius level uh, um, like damage and all that stuff. This is not Darius, right? Uh, this champion needs scale time, so like you need to get Sheen. Sheen on this champ is OP, man. So be aware about that. I think that the enemy jungler is top lane, but there's nothing you can do. Um, you're you can um, if you ever decide to use your Q, it's always better to auto Q. It's a bit more efficient for damage. Now we're both level six. Oh, the <laughs> I love how the wave is like blocking me so hard. Ooh, smart play from Garen. He just kites backwards with E, so he was actually inside range. Not bad at all. I <laughs> cute <laughs> the wave. <laughs> it's actually going to be a very, very clean fight. Yeah, whatever. Got my passive ready, so if he decides to get to me, I got my grasp ready. I will actually get to win the trade. Perhaps, maybe even, uh, maybe even an all in. I'll use the Biscuits too. Yeah, Garen matchup is not an easy one when you play Camille. Certainly not. It's a good matchup though. You just gotta be careful about how you trade him. That's gonna go under tower. And before we truly back, just gonna get one plate. Now we officially have Sheen, and Sheen is, in my opinion, where the game starts. And of course, it's not the biggest power spike yet, it's a massive one. It's a very big power spike, but it's not the real power spike we're talking about. The real power spike of Camille, so like, when you are the strongest in the game, there are two moments when this happens. Firstly, it's when you get Trinity Force. When you get Trinity, this is like one of the the biggest power spikes you can you can ever get. Um, secondly, after Trinity Force, if you can obtain yourself the Ravenous Hydra at some point, uh, you'll also have Wave Clear, which means that you can um, combine it within the combo. So those two are the biggest. If you can uh, obtain these two items together, you are going to be extremely strong. You're going to be at that point where you can one of you on anybody. Got it. He's gonna display it if he doesn't walk forward. And we just keep slow pushing like that. Has a place. Of course, missing that one. I think that Garen is likely resetting. Now we hold it like that. Our farm is not the greatest, unfortunately, and that's kind of due to like how the the lane was going. Lots of fighting. So I don't blame it. I'm going to try to maintain the uh, grass proc. That's one of the most efficient traits you can do. We have my jungler up here, but I have no ult or no E. No problem. He can help me push. We are going to dive him. I'm not going to use any abilities. I need everything to be ready uh, to dive this guy. Maybe Kai backwards? Perhaps. Okay, I tried getting my uh, my my Q off onto Barb, and unfortunately that failed. At least we're getting away with killing the Garen. And that's a good thing because if we kill this Garen, he's not able to farm this wave anymore, and he's not able to progress in the lane plus the wave is again it's in a very good position and we got trinity force now so if we make it back to lane i can guarantee you like fighting this garen is like 10 times easier now because we have trinity trinity is the biggest power spike you can get guys remember that remember what i told you okay trinity is so nice 
So again, like, Garen lost a large portion of farm. Also, we do, of course. We've been losing these ones due to the fight, but... That's okay. So it seems like the enemy jungler is again top lane. I am not impressed by it. Nothing impresses me this game with all of the fights. And again, we got Trinity now. So like I said before, you can do whatever you want. You can 1v1 pretty much all top laners in the, in the game. See what I'm talking about? The entire lane has changed just because we bought Trinity. It's completely different now. We're living in a different world here. Oh, that didn't go according to the plan. No problem. Uh, we will just do it again. We push this out, same way like before. And we'll probably dive him. Alright. He actually gets to live out of it too. <laughs> Get on live, bro. Enemy killing spree. Let's see if he walks forward. Let's wait a little bit. I don't think he's gonna have the patience to stay there on the entire time. Nah, really? He has the patience to stay there the entire time? Like that? No way. Yo, big patience. Well, whatever, I guess. I'm glad I took the farm and not just wait for it. <laughs> yeah, it's time to reset. Garen has been using the passive, so he just got all of his HP back. <laughs> whatever. Little bit unlucky to see how many kills this Garen has actually got in this game. Uh, with the way how he's been, you know, playing it. But yeah, it is what it is. And he will run as soon as I show up, yeah. For sure. See if I can cancel that backport. He walks the entire way back. Wow, okay, this guy has the true patience, man. Again, the Garen will just use the passive. This is the one thing I don't like about Garen players. If they want to, they can just sit back and watch the game. Because they have that passive which will heal them infinitely. This is the way how the champion functions. That passive will always heal him. Look, he's already healing back already. And these guys know that I'm rotating. Let's see if Garen moves forward. I kind of doubt it. He'll just stay up there, I guess. I bargained my soul for the progress of Piltover. I... I'm going to try to get the tower down right now because I think he actually went to reset. I can take the tower down before he makes it back. Or never mind, I guess. This guy is way faster than I thought. Okay. He's got Stride Breaker now. He actually killed my teammate before. Oh. Serious? We didn't kill that guy as well? Oh, we, we missed like two kills in a row? Feels bad, man. Gonna have some kind of luck this game. <laughs> this Garen keeps getting advantages without doing anything. Oh, 
Okay. All right, dude. I will just have to play the same game temporarily until I can uh, buy Tiamat. Garen should normally not be this strong. It's just that Garen has managed to collect kills as the game continues. Hopefully if I have Tiamat, I can get out of this lane. And just snowball the game away from... Uh, oh, right. Okay. This is a lot more complicated. My game is being affected so much by Jongnurs. It's very annoying. Let's try again. I got my E in like two seconds. Yep, that guy goes down. Both of the kills are transferring to my jungler. I hope that I could get these shutdowns. Whatever. My uh, jungler got the shutdowns. I hope that my jungler is not going to int away the shutdowns right now. That would make the game so much more difficult. We'll see what happens. Got tower too. Now we go back. I'm always very scared about my junglers taking shutdowns and stuff like that because if they start inting afterwards, then it's all meaningless. And it just happened. My jungler just died afterwards. That's why I, I always prefer getting the shutdowns myself. I feel very confident about not inting these moments. Uh, I couldn't E forward because he would just hit R. Wait. The Garen can show as well. Let's see if I can make a play with my ult. Hold up. Garen is also missing. He could be in the jungle. Violence is a means to an end. Uh. Yeah. They have so much control. Perhaps maybe they'll overextend here? Nah, probably not. Okay, let's grab the wave here real quick. If we can get casted now, that would change the uh, entire game for good. Okay, man, this game is so hard to play out. I truly hope that I had the shutdowns before. It would have made such a solid difference. Um, I'm still feeling that we can win the game, though. I'll sell this so I can get Hydra. I think that we are we are at like the turning point where if we if we only catch one guy, we will get so much gold that it will drastically change the game because. If you look at their values, if we can kill them again, we will get their uh, their shutdowns. And then hopefully... We will have that uh, little bit of elite that we need. I'm just waiting for that moment. We had that moment before, I hope we can get it again. Let's push the next one. Keep my E just in case. Well, I'll just use no, never mind. Try and fast forward. I'll grab the next wave too, because Garen is actually in bot lane. I don't think that anyone else would be here, because the dragon was available. And maybe before we truly back, I'm gonna try and push the gold a little bit. And now we go back. Okay. 
Now it's time to make a play somehow. Let's see if we can do something. Take two long swords again. This is the time to make a play. Yep. That's one shot down. Good. We got one shot down. Uh, they're wrecking our base apart. Hmm. We just gotta keep this up. That switch is also somewhere. I'm losing even mid tower right now. I don't wanna go all in by myself. I need my teammates to do it for me. Kidding. Kidding. Oh no, my E didn't go through. Okay, we're making solid progress. We actually managed to get even more catches. And now we have 1.5k. And before we truly go back, I'm just gonna go and grab like one more wave so we can keep uh, keep up um, the game a little bit. And let's go back. Uh, Warhammer and then this item. Yeah, let's go. I am prepared. We have Kale also scaling, by the way. Kale is like farming uh, two lanes at once. With her clearing speed. And we should be able to 1v1 the Garen for sure right now. 100%. I have no doubt in it. And of course, there's also a jungler being involved. What I don't know is if he will pass his brush. I don't know. I'm what you would call a deniable asset. Probably Garen and uh, Jungris are both up here. Yep. Like I said before, they're just walk walking in the jungle waiting for the right opportunities. Hmm. They, uh, they can't move forward necessarily. My teammates are farming. Very good. We actually have level 8 on all of them. Got it. Now it's time to be very careful. Because they have a twitch in the, inside the invisibility. Seems like he's showing up in top lane, so we can just push this. And maybe... I can also grab this. Uh, we're definitely not going to be able to obtain this. This is the hardest part of the game. I hope that we can change something right here. Oh, my teammates are dying in the worst possible moment in the game. Okay, GG. Maybe me and Kale can like stop this. Still, who knows? I actually hit the the wave. Very good, very good. Catch. Hmm. This is actually quite winnable. 
it is actually very winnable. As you can see, we're making a solid comeback. I will let Kale just farm the bot lane and mid lane because he can do it slightly faster than I can. The dragon is still a question whether we can actually do it. Oh, they already got it from what it seems. I'm glad I'm pushing top for this reason. I'm glad I do. I'll take one more wave so we don't have to worry about top lane as much. The faster you push top and cleaning it this far, uh, the more the enemy team has to do to like push it back into, which gives us time for the inhibs to come back. We now, we can now buy death stance and I'm buying death stance because it counters Twitch. Garen, Fiego, is not cast it in. Uh, we need to wait for Kale to come back. Good. Hmm. Very well done. Oh, I messed up my E. Whoops, I thought I was closer to the turret. No problem. Uh, that was a very clean team fight, actually preventing them. Well, they still got the inhib, but again, we're getting catches. We're about to hit level 18, which is a big thing because we're not even casting as level 16 yet. This massive. Uh, my ult is like two seconds, man. That's big. That's very big. I don't know if I can find other people. I don't know. Well, it's just... Yeah, Twitch is dead. Casting is resetting. I'm just gonna grab it. I'm not scared. I've uh, very much got my item now. Thank you. <laughs> he backed off. Maybe he didn't have the mana or something. I don't know. But man, does that feel very good. Man, that feels nice. Yeah, I'm the only guy at the moment. So I'm just gonna have to be very quick. Got it. I had no choice, otherwise we lose towers. I had to fight it. I couldn't. I couldn't stop it. Like, if I ran backwards, the towers would have gone down, and that would have actually affected the rest of the game. We finally got my death sense, and the only thing that we need right now is to get uh, Shojin, and then eventually replacing Guardian's Angel. I mean, uh, boots with Guardian's Angel. Got everything. I'll grab this one too. Hmm. Maybe Ash can bait. Yeah, my teammates will just have to stay grouped. Because they have Twitch. 
with the permanent invisibility. I'm way stronger than my team, so I can take things by myself. Still a long road away from actually getting my item. I can't actually get out. I was being silenced. My ideal was to flash out, away from Twitch, live, and then continue going. But Garen silenced me exactly when I was about to flash off, so I couldn't get away anymore. Very unfortunate. I'm actually kind of considering to not go Shoujin and instead go directly into a Guardian's Angel. Because if I have Guardian's Angel, I can you know I can survive in the in the team fight for a very long time. And then later on I can replace the boots and get Shoujin. We're just going to go Guardian's Angel. It's far better. I'm also the only guy that can all in directly. That dragon is a problem. Uh, so we have Ash in top. Ash needs to move with the team together. Okay. We got him moving. Very good. Now my team shouldn't die. I hope they don't. Uh, very well. I'm getting my cooldowns back, so it's not that bad. Oh, my jungle is also dead right now. My teammates are constantly dying at the worst possible moment. Really? And hips are going down too now? That's even worse. Three people going bot lane to take the nips down. Uh, okay. Such a hard game, I'm not gonna lie. Come to. Yeah, we need to instantly. Uh, yeah, we can't go Baron too because we lost like two in hip straight away. So we can't. Uh, we can't actually do that. Piltover will achieve its destiny. We have no TP. We're going to lose objectives. There's no way around it. We will. Maybe I can try something out. Oh yeah. Okay, we got him. Good. Very good. And my Ash is also dead again. Oh man, it's so tough. My teammates keep dying. I hope that uh, Kale can mean something right here. I'm warning Kale about the champs. Okay. I think I'm starting to believe that this game cannot be win. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> we can't get out of this situation. They will keep doing the same thing. I'm not going to buy a potion yet. I'm going to try to save gold for the replacement for my boots. Uh, Kale is still dead for like 30 seconds.
Wow. Wow, what a what a sad game. We've got so far, but it's just impossible to win this one, unfortunately. But it was a great game regardless, but it's absolutely unwinnable. There's no way. Hey, either way, this is Camille Top. Thanks so much for watching today's Camille video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.